a really hard week for me, and I was battling back and forth, and I just thank Minister Eric for pressing us the way that he said he would, um, because sometimes you feel like giving up, or sometimes you feel like, you know, you made a commitment, but you're not going to do it because you don't feel like it. And I just thank God that, you know, Eric was like, nope, you're going to press, you're going to do it. You know, you made the commitment, you did what you're supposed to do, and I've had the poem, and I've been going back and forth with, are people going to understand it? And I hear God just saying, don't worry about it. So, lately I've been irritated, I've been angry, because I feel like we let the world take stuff from us, and we let them take it and turn it into what they want. And I feel like as Christians, we have to get angry and we have to take back our stuff. Yes. We have to take back the things that they think they're going to take and they're going to, you know, use for use for them, but God really, you know, called it to be for us. And so, I'll just do the do the poem. I'm a little nervous, which is Okay. So, it's called Taking Back the Blood. For God so loved the world that they let him kill his son. They nailed him to a cross and you were shed. The world thinks it can have you, strip you of your power, and instead make you cool. Red bandanas, a group of kids repping you. Mm. They kill and call themselves by your name. Mm. The real meaning of you has been hidden. Your power they try to diminish. Your meaning they try to erase. But they that try to erase you today, I stand and say, I will never forget you. I will plead, Je will plead Jesus' over my life. You are the spiritual weapon that cannot be replaced. It's no surprise in the natural that scientists can fabricate hearts. They can make a man stay alive without organs of all kinds, but they cannot replicate you. For they cannot use a faith for you. For you are scarce, and they must, must be given in order for a life to be lived. I will not allow the rarity of what my big brother did to be hidden away. For he is the ultimate donor, the last sacrifice. Without him, you, we'd still be in debt for the, all the costs he paid. Some don't see the parallels, but let me break it down. Today, the world statistics say that every two seconds, someone needs you, and a pint can save three lives. But I've come to correct them and say that every second, I need the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All the lives that can be saved through him that died for me. If they, trust, if they trusted in his power and what the blood represents, if they believed in the authority that God has given through what Jesus did, then what fear they couldn't vote for the one who has tried to keep them bound. How many more would be free if we took a stand and refused to let others bring the magnitude of the blood down? Right. I will not allow the blood to be forgotten. I will not allow the world to try to recreate what Jesus had did, did that day. I will speak the truth of the blood and use it against the enemy. I will take back the blood today and represent it every day. Amen. Amen.